Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we'll talk about lecture three, uh, alternative molecules, and number one part is alternative promoter. Uh, this is a lecture, a part of a molecular genetics course, MLGN 301-2016. Uh, in this lecture, we uh, will talk about a uh, front issue, about alternative promoters. Uh, this, uh, some uh, recommended book for you is, for further information, is Bioinformatics Practical Approach. Um, in this lecture, we will learn about uh, what are alternative promoters and how it works, uh, why alternative promoters are important uh, in the cell. Uh, the outcome of this lecture uh, should be understanding the importance of alternative promoters in the regulation of gene expression of some gene uh, and where and when the cell uses alternative promoters and disease associated with alternative uh, promoter usage. As we can see, alternative promoter means that you have not only one promoter but more than one promoter. So, first we have to know what are promoters. Promoters, as we know before, that it's, uh, uh, promoters are uh, modulatory uh, DNA sequences around uh, transcription initiation site, uh, including a complex array of cis-acting regulatory elements required for efficient and accurate initiation of transcription and for controlling expression of a gene. So this means that you have always this part uh, which uh, before the gene and that part of the DNA in, in the 5' prime upstream, this part uh, you can uh, always bef before the gene to control the expression of the gene and uh, and it control when and how and uh, when and how uh, the and where the gene will be expressed as we can see from this figure that uh, if there is a gene inside the genome the promoter region is the up uh, five prime upstream and it regulates the expression of the gene so simply, uh, we have after the transcription, we have premature RNA, and then after that, uh, after the RNA processing uh, and removing the intron from the gene, we have the translation process uh, and the ribosome, and then we have uh, the protein will be produced. Okay, this is a normal uh, translation and transcription uh, as we saw before, but we have to know that this promoter region in the five prime uh, we have different elements this regulating elements we have core promoter which include data box this is a core promoter region and in the proximal control element that have a gc box and cat box uh, the data box is minus 25 to minus uh, 35 uh, before the gene in the five prime upstream but the, the, the cat box and, uh, is minus 80 uh, at minus 80 upstream, the 5 prime upstream of the gene, and the GC box is minus 100 before from uh, 5 prime from the upstream of the gene. It means that it's away at at least 100 nucleotides from the transcription site. This is another uh, example. Um, child model like promoter and their sigma factor you can see that the gene which always start at plus one and then before that there is the promoter region minus 10 to minus 35 as we said the core promoter and we have other uh, effectors like the cat box and tata box as we saw uh, in the last picture before that of course we have the part uh, where the transcription factor uh, have uh, the part to uh, bind to uh, transcription factor bind to the DNA before that part alternate what are alternative promoter alternative promoter are uh, that may, maybe a gene have two or three or uh, different promoters that control the expression of the gene so uh, as we saw now, we saw what the meaning of a promoter, one promoter and what pro one promoter consists of. And now we take another example of alternative promoter, which means that the, the same gene may have different promoter or multiple promoter. 
So what are alternative promoter? Alternative promoter actually are special promoter that can lead to significant variation and complexity in the transcription uh, and the transcription initiation level can be different among alternative promoter and the turnover rate and translation efficiency of mRNA isoform with different leader exons and promoter can be different. Uh, so, simply you can, this mean that we have one gene but multiple promoter, maybe two, maybe three, but this different promoter can uh, control the efficient translation of that gene in specific tissue, for example, and the turnover rate uh, of transcription in that specific uh, tissue. So, Alternate promoter can lead, uh, can have diverse tissue specificity and react differently to signals. And uh, the alternative usage of the promoter can lead to the generation of protein isoform varying at the amino, uh, amino terminus, uh, terminus of the protein. So this is the actually one of the importance. Uh, uh, usage of that alternative promoters. So alternative promoter means that the same gene as we said have different promoter and as we said that it ca can have a different tissue, a diverse tissue uh, specificity and react differently to signals. So this example, for example, you can see here a gene and that gene have different promoter in different distance from the uh, ATG site, from the start coding site. You can, this different uh, promoter actually control the expression of that gene in, for example, uh, placenta major, placenta minor, skin and adipose, whatever different tissues and all these different tissues actually uh, can be different in expression of that gene. So you can see that there is many, uh, uh, that the gene have many promoters and every promoter control the expression of that gene in different uh, tissue. So the second question will be why are alternative promoters important? So the, import the importance of, uh, of this alternative promoter uh, can come from that the mammalian genes use use alternative promoter each subjected to different regulatory factors to regulate and expand their transcriptional and translational potential so this is the main answer of that so the main answer is to regulate and expand the transcri their transcription and translational potential Alternative promoters also create elaborate regulation of the gene expression in different tissue, cell types, and developmental stages. So you can see now that maybe one gene uh, have different promoters can create elaborate regulation of that gene expression can be expressed differently in different tissues and cell types and developmental stage. Same gene but have different pattern of expression in different tissue. Uh, the product transcripts may include diverse protein as a form or may vary only in their five prime untranslated region, affecting mRNA stability and the efficiency uh, of translation uh, as we'll see. But this usually very, very case, very rare cases. Uh, stringency regulation is critical for accurate gene function and loss of the control may have serious phenotypic effect as we see as this are associated with many diseases. There are several examples of diseases associated with alternative promoter usage, for example, in number of cancers. Promoters are specifically activated. So this have to be in mind. So any uh, any uh, loss of control may may result in serious phenotypic effect and may be uh, um, affecting or resulting in many diseases associated with that. So a comprehensive description of the transcriptase uh, of cells uh, is the foundation of a complete understanding of the complexity of disease phenotypes, proteome, and the regulation uh, network. This, of course, we have to understand and, and know how 
the genes are regulated inside uh, the genome and how it's functioned and how specific tissue have specific expression uh, and different developmental stages have also a specific expression for every developmental stage. Typically, genes with alternative promoter produce transcript with identical operating frame and this is very, very important to understand that typically, in, in the most cases, that alternative promoter produce transcript with identical operating frame. But maybe we need use only this alternative promoter, as we said, to control the expression level, the turnover rate in different tissue. How much, how much amount of the transcription needed in a different tissue? So we need alternative promoter for that. But typically, the 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 open the the the, the, the operating frame itself is the same. I have no difference. But of course, we have. Is different uh, other cases, very less cases that have uh, 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 some uh, changes. But uh, typically, no variation in the product proteins uh, in the product uh, of uh, these genes have been observed. And these genes, uh, the mRNA, have alternative leader exon with the same downstream uh, exons and identical overreading. Uh, frame as we can see although these genes produce no protein isoform again produce no protein isoform the mRNA variant differ in their transcription pattern as we said uh, and tra translation efficiency and we also have to keep in mind that because the resulting protein remains unchanged variances in different is uh, in different tissue or developmental stages are the main consequences in these cases so uh, as we said before that the main consequences of these cases are uh, that there is variation in the expression in different tissue and different developmental stages uh, in more complex situation alternative promoter usage can lead to the change it, uh, in termini of protein or create different operating frame although the later possibility is quite rare as we mentioned uh, before in summary, alternative promoters have different uh, tissue specificity, different developmental activity and expression level, or the variant untranslated uh, or the variant at untranslated regions (UTR). And this is a very rare cases, as we said. Uh, in this um, practical, we can see that CBAS, uh, if you need to know if your gene have an alternative promoter or not, simply you can go to, for example, the eukaryotic promoter database. Uh, there is many releases. The current release, I think it's uh, number 97. You can just put your gene that you are looking for to know if this gene, for example, have alternative promoter or not. And the result will tell you that this gene have a promoter or two promoters, and uh, if that uh, um, uh, mean that you can see if you click in each one to know uh, when and where each promoter is working and why we have two uh, promoter instead of one. And of course, you can, if you want to conclude that you can know that the uh, that this gene uh, have. Uh, Two promoter and uh, each each one of them uh, could work in different tissue and in specific situations uh, and why each one is different uh, now uh, in the practical for the exam you have to know these two questions uh, it's very important to understand and know why our alternative promoters are important uh, and you have to know also what are the rules of alternative promoters in tissue specificity, developmental activity, expression level, variant untranslated regions. And uh, you can write on this in that issues and describe why and when uh, alternative promoter can be used uh, in the cell. Thank you for understanding and please follow us on uh, uh, YouTube to, to see more lectures uh, about other uh, techniques c controlling uh, the molecular genetics in, uh, in the cell. Listening and hope to see you in the other lectures.